right, so we are going to talk about how to create outlines with your text. So when you're using your type tools, now you can use any of these type tools here for your, any of your projects, but we're just going to use the regular old type tool. Just click and we're going to type any words, right? In, our, in my case, I'm going to type the word pattern, okay? Now, I'm going to edit this text, right? So I can change the size of it. So let's change it to 80 points. Uh, change the size of it. And we can change the font style to, let's get a really good one. Let's do Pepperelli. Yeah. All right, so we're change that. You can change the color. Switched into Photoshop by accident. Uh, you can change the color. Oh, I'm clicking on things. All right, so I've changed the color. There's no fill for this particular font. Uh, so actually, I'm going to choose a different one. Let's use this one. Looks like the price is right font. So we are going to change that. We've changed the size, we've changed the color, we've changed the font style. Now, if I want to send this file to someone, I don't know that they have priced down uh, that font installed in their computer. So if I send this file to someone who doesn't have that, it will not look like this. It will go to their default font, which is usually an Arial or some very simple type of font like that, a Myriad or something like that, Helvetica. Uh, so if I want them to be able to read all of the text in the way that I intended for it to look for my particular design, I need to do what's called convert text to outlines. So you can do that up here by going to the type drop down menu and choose create outlines. What that does is it converts your editable font or your editable text, uh, the type into actual shapes. You can no longer edit this as a word, right? The computer doesn't know it as that computer knows it as this is an individual shape, right? And I can move these shapes around. Let's make that AR, right? You can move things around and scramble your letters and, you know, make this letter big if you want to, right? So you can change things because they are now shapes. They have points and pixels and you can scooch things around like this. Now, before you hand your assignment in, you want to make sure that you have converted all of your text to outlines. So if you have more than one piece of text, there we go, pattern overlay, that's, that's the stuff, right? So in the case of doing, say, a poster or uh, a menu where there's lots of lines of text and things like that, you can just do Command A, which is select all, right? And you can convert to outlines for everything that you've got. That way you don't miss anything, okay? Once you've done that, you wanna make sure you save your, uh, save your file and then you can upload it to the Google Classroom or wherever. But make sure you always do that before you hand it in to me so your assignment is seen the way it's supposed to be seen. Otherwise, I'll be missing some of your fonts.